what I'm doing now is I'm going to place the power supplies, which is a little bit tricky actually, because there are these rails that come in. I've put a 260, uh, GTX 260 in here for a, just a model of spacing for a double wide card. These rails are going to hold that down, so the, the power supply has to be mounted behind that and have enough room uh, to leave the other power supply some room to bundle its wires. So actually placing the power supplies is one of the trickiest aspects of this, of this layout. Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm, uh, I'm impatient. One of the things that I do that's impatient is I use, I use double-sided tape to stick my power supplies down to the tray. Um, you know, I figure that's good enough unless there's an earthquake. This is, uh, this is some 3M industrial double-sided tape. This stuff is dangerously sticky. And uh, once you place it and leave it for a few minutes, it's, it's impossible to get off. I mean, it will literally pull the sides, the sheet metal off of these uh, power supplies once it gets really set. So it's actually quite a good solution for this. It, it lets me uh, move these things around, get set up that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the power supplies now. All right, here we got the, um, the power supplies placed. Um, where those are is actually pretty important. This one uh, avoids being uh, directly in the way of ventilating the video cards when, when they're all in installed. Um, this open side here lets the card on this end breathe. And uh, you know, as, as we all know, there's, there's two cards in the middle. Uh, there's, so there's a tunnel of air that forms in the middle that pushes through the cards seems to work well. I uh, haven't had any problems with the two uh, cards in the middle uh, being really that much hotter. They run a few degrees Celsius hotter, of course, but it's not, uh, it hasn't been a real problem. <clears throat> Here's where the, uh, you know, having the modular power supplies would be nice. So now I have to mount the hard drive. Um, when I started using two power supplies, my first, uh, I should say, my first two racks were, they use a single, uh, uh, 1250 watt power supply by Cooler Master, and that uh, that worked. I I think I like this solution better. Um, it just gives me a little more confidence. You've got two cars on one supply and two cars on the other. But when I did that, it it meant I had two supplies, and so obviously there's a little less room now for uh, for things like the hard drives. So I had to start standing the hard drives up. My first two laid the hard hard drives down in the back here. But uh, so I've had to start standing the hard drives up here, right between this power supply and the edge of the motherboard. Um, seems to work. Haven't had, haven't uh, really had any problems with that. Okay, and there's the hard drive. Um, it's mounted. Just two screws coming up through the uh, through the slots in the bottom of the tray. There, it is affixed. It's not moving. So now it's just routing wire. Okay, I said I wasn't going to show the um, routing of the wire, uh, but I take that back. I'm going to show you a little bit because it's kind of interesting when you load the 295s. Got this bar set up as high as it'll go, and the way I normally load them is I start from the processor side and work my way out. Now it's as you probably have noticed, they have uh, electronic components exposed on the back. Uh, it's really, it's really important to be careful loading these things. Um, that's why I used that 260 earlier, the GTX 260 is a physical model because these things are, well, as you know, they're expensive and, uh, and they're somewhat fragile because they're not backed. And yes, I know I could buy the backs, but that's 20 bucks a pop for the video cards. And at the moment I have 23 video cards. So, just not worth $500 to me to, uh, to put the backs on them. They stay cool enough without them, and, uh, <clears throat> and they really don't seem to require them. But I do have to be a little bit careful. When I lower this bar uh, and, and push down on the motherboard, I have to be, you know, sort of ginger with that. You don't want to crush the motherboard. But uh, I also try to splay the cards out a little bit, give them a little bit of room between them and let them breathe a little bit and gives them a little little bit of room to pull some air uh, in between the cards instead of everything having to come through the tunnel. Okay, this is um, this is not the Foxconn Destroyer. This is the MSI K1000 
K9A2 Platinum motherboard. I put the uh, the Foxconn Destroyer in here, and the Foxconn Destroyer would not work with more than two cars. It would it seemed to work well with just the two, but when I put a third card in, it became unstable. It would uh, sometimes spontaneously reboot, and other times it would uh, just lock up. So. Um, what I did was I had a spare MSI K9A2 motherboard on the shelf, so I took it down, I removed all the um, cards from the motherboard, and just changed uh, motherboards. I moved the processor and cooler from the Foxconn Destroyer uh, to this motherboard. I hooked everything back up, worked perfectly the first time. So there's really no doubt in my mind that the, uh, the Foxconn Destroyer was at fault. So. Unfortunately, that's that's all right. The, that motherboard was an experiment for me. These are the boards that I've been using, um, so I'll just continue to use them. They they work fine. I was um, I was excited about the destroyer, but uh, didn't pan out. So I'll leave some messages on uh, on their site and try to sort that out. In the meantime, uh, this gives you some idea of how um, how loud a single rack is. This is uh, all four cards with their with their um, fans at 100%. It's it's not too bad. Um, it's not as loud as a hair dryer, but uh, it's certainly not quiet, not not silent by any stretch. Um, and that's it. This this machine actually it's uh, it's been folding overnight now, and uh, so now the goal is to put it in the rack, and then we'll have a look at it uh, in the rack with the rest of the system.